Taisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy. Subscribe. Uh, gems, this is a general energy check. Not going to resonate with all of you, so take what resonates and re release the rest, okay? Do not try to force it to fit. It will only confuse you. And I don't want that in spirit because I don't want that, okay? So, let's see what we've got here. Uh, I just want to thank all of you for your love and your support of my channel. It has been growing. Genuinely, sincerely appreciate you. Um, for those of you who hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, thank you. I appreciate you. Those of you who keep me busy with these personal bookings, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Gems, if you take a look in the description box, there is a link there for a group that I created. It's called Woke and Woke Moms. So um, feel free if that's something that interests you to join that community. Um, it's vibes, man. It's a vibe. It's a whole vibe. Okay, I'm going to jump into the reading because um, I'm uh, excited. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. So we're looking in past, present, and a future outcome, potential future outcome, depending on what you choose to do with your free will. And the cards have already been shuffled and drawn. We will clarify together. You have temperance in reverse. Mm -hmm. And then you have three of cups. And you have princess of cups. So let's clarify this. I feel like in the past you lost your patience with something or with someone. Or you were very frustrated. Let's see what that's about. So please clarify. Temperance in reverse. Wow. Death. Death. Oh, no, no. Please clarify. Temperance in reverse. Oh, okay. You got two of water in reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They don't have to be. They could just have water in their chart, or you could have water in your chart, okay? I'm hearing sun, moon, rising. <laughs> yeah, sun or moon rising. Uh, I feel like you... I feel like you gave up on something, and you just... A relationship frustrated you. So can I get some more? Gemini. Yeah, but you weren't you weren't listening to your intuition. Your intuition was telling you that someone was not really down for you. A hundred percent. No. Whoever this was, they were here for a good time, not a long time. They love sleeping with you, but they weren't trying to be no serious commitment. Uh, even if they said they were, there was there was something that they wanted. Mm-hmm. And if they had to tell you they wanted to be in a commitment to get it from you, then that's what they would have done. That's what they did. Uh, I feel like someone had a commitment. They were a commitment pole. Yeah. Because your intuition was telling you to look at the facts of something. This person could have cheated on you multiple times or even cheated on you once. This could have been someone who, um, I'm hearing they didn't, there was no follow through. They were inconsistent. A lot of um, empty promises. But your your intuition was telling you or was trying to get across to you that you need to make a head over heart decision. You don't need to, but it would be wise because the facts were all on the table about somebody, Gemini. And I feel like maybe you didn't want to see it and that was frustrating you. It's like... Um, you're pushing against, you were pushing against the current, you know, like you see that someone's not good for you, but you could, you kind of believe that you could change them or in time, if you're just a little bit more patient, um, things will change with them, but you ran out of patience. Mm -hmm. I think your patience was like, what the fuck are you doing, Jem? <laughs> you need to cut this one loose. Okay. Throw this one back. Throw this fish back in the sea. Yeah. I feel like eventually in the past, you just started to see things for what they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to pull some more on this. Spirit, can I get one for the lovers? Can I get one for two of water? In reverse. You could have believed this person was your soulmate. And they were. They were karmic. They were supposed to teach you something. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, did you learn it? Did you learn your lesson? Someone in this collective said, yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
So can I get one on uh, two of water in reverse, please? Thank you. Yeah, the moon. Someone was hiding something from you, being sneaky, being secretive. Can I get one on seven of fire in reverse? Some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing all the signs here. Fire, air, water. The only sign I don't see is earth. Wow. Okay. Did you guys see that? Okay. <laughs> all righty. Spirit, can I get one on seven of fire in reverse? Just one. I just need one. Oh, wow. The lovers again, right? Your intuition was trying to tell you something about somebody. Um, for some of you, you know what I feel? I feel like you could have been set on somebody and your intuition was telling you or trying to tell you that that wasn't your person. Mm -hmm. Someone could have believed, I'm hearing false twin flame, a karmic soulmate that you believed was a, was a high vibrational soulmate, but the facts of the matter was they kept doing real low vibrational things. Wow, look at that. Right? So can I get one for King of Air? Can I get one for King of Air? Yeah, ten of, ten of Swords in reverse. Look at that. I feel like, uh, Gemini, you may have been... It's like you were listening, you weren't listening to your intuition, but you were more in your rational mind because eventually one of them won out, right? Because it's like, you may not have been following your intuition about something, but your rational mind was like, at the end of the day, Jen, like this person is not cutting it. They lie, they cheat, they deceive you. You can't trust them for anything. It would be better if you just separated from them, right? Because I feel like you just were, you got tired of somebody and their bullshit. You got ten of swords in reverse, right? So eventually you separated from someone so that you can just heal. I feel like you had gotten to a point where you were just over it, over all of it, all of the mess, all of the drama, all of this ten of swords shit. Like you were done, right? I feel like intuitively too, you knew that there was someone else better. You could be with someone else. Mm -hmm. There was someone else for you. So it's like, why are you wasting time? Why are you putting up with this stuff? Good for you. Good for you, Gemini. Spirit, can I get some on um on three of cups? I feel like now presently you are you could be in a relationship with someone else who genuinely cares about you because I feel like your your vibration has risen to a point where you are attracting people that it's like attract like. So you are attracting people whose frequency matches your vibration. Okay? You could be celebrating something right now. Did someone get engaged? Someone's, are you moving like you're in a season of, I feel like you're in a season of fellowship. That's what I heard. So you're around people or you could be, I just feel like you're celebrating. You're around a lot of people that get you, you get them. It's good vibes. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at this. So beautiful, right? People that, um, they support you, they care about you, they nurture you, they want to see you doing good, people that believe in you, mm -hmm. because I, I was feeling like um, business, I heard business, I felt like people were coming together to create some kind of business endeavor, and it's just like-minded people, like-minded frequencies, All right? Like if you're spiritual, you could be starting a spiritual practice. Or you could be connecting with other other people that are very spiritual as well. And whatever it is you're creating, it's it's beautiful. It's something that helps the collective, but it, it it's from a space of you know how businesses are like they're all about the bottom line? Not this one. <laughs> whatever you're creating, Gemini, this is not about the bottom line. This is about the top line. Mm -hmm. This is about going up, helping people to raise their vibration and reach upwards. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, 
right? You could be starting something. This could start out like a, I'm hearing like a hobby that turns into something serious and then you start making money from it, but you're not even, or whoever you're working with, you're not focused on the money. You're focused on helping people and that's why the money comes in because it's genuine. It's pure. Mm hmm Right? You could be doing something that teaching people how to be happy or teaching people how to heal. Yeah, and you're not even questioning it. Whatever you're doing, you're not even questioning it. Whoever you're with, for those of you where this is like you, you haven't met a new friend or you, you're thinking about considering being in a relationship with someone, you don't even have to question that this person cares about you because you do. These people that you're working with or these friends that you have, these new friends that you have, you don't even have to question that they care about you, they support you, they want the best for you because they do, right? And you can feel it. It's not even what they say or what they do. You feel it off of them. The energy, it's so high vibes. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's a sisters here. Um, your sisters, but your sisters from another mother, right? You could all be a bunch of high priestesses. You could be, I'm hearing which. <laughs> I'm seeing like a coven here. Mm -hmm. But there's friends and it's like, um, yeah, any of you ever seen that movie, The Craft, with the, the friends from high school and they're all witches and stuff, but... This is like you doing, casting good spells to help people, mm -hmm. help people heal, help people transform their lives, help people love themselves more. Yes, uh, it's, it's, it's such beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. What is that? Okay, Spirit, can I get one on Queen of Earth? Can I get one on Queen of Earth? Some of you could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you have that in your chart. But whoever, it's just such beautiful energy. I love it. I absolutely love this. Okay. So you've got the Emperor in reverse. Can I get some more? Can I get one on Fate? Can I get one on Fate? And you have King of Cups. Can I get one on Seven of Air in Reverse? Eight of Swords. Okay. Some of you Geminis, don't sabotage yourself, okay? <laughs> don't sabotage. Some of you, I feel like you think something is too good to be true. So you're worried that it may not work out, right? It's like, you know, you don't need to worry about anything, but you kind of can't help yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like, you guys are so nice. Or you guys are going to do some fuck shit to me, aren't you? Right? And, 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 no, they're not. <laughs> or you're such a nice person. You really want to, we're really doing this. Like you're really serious about being in a relationship with me. Yeah, they are. I want to pull one more. Spirit, can I get one more on this um, Emperor in Reverse? Can I get one more on this Emperor in Reverse? Four of Cups. Gemini, somebody is upset that you, whoever this is, they do care about you. But they don't care about you uh, uh, the way you deserve. You know, this is like someone who loves you, but they don't know how to love you. Mm -hmm. They see you as someone who's very caring and nurturing and supportive and all of that good stuff. But they don't show up that way. Whoever you're dealing with, they're very immature. Right? And they kind of like, there's a codependency here. They're de they were depending on you to like hold everything up. You are the one who is supposed to be feeding into the relationship and being the supportive one and the loving one and the kind one and the compassionate one. Well, they got to just do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. And they couldn't really decide if they wanted to be fully with you or not. This was that commitment folk in the past, right? I feel like they're seeing you connect with other people and you're being happy and they kind of feel like... I feel someone has like a sense of loss. They could be a little bit bitter, but someone is unhappy at the fact that you've connected with other people that are 
They're on your vibe, man. They align with you. You connected with someone that makes you happy. You connected with other people that you can grow with and you can build something with. It's like someone's not happy because you're not happy. I mean, because you're happy. I feel too that they are disappointed. And there is a level of disgust with themselves. Whoever you're dealing with, they could be kind of petty. Mm -hmm. I feel this arrogance too. Like someone thought that you would... You would always love them. And I do, Gemini, I feel like you do love this person, but you realize that they're just not good for you or they're not the one for you. And it's, I don't feel any hate from you. I just feel like you're just done, right? Your patience cord ran out with this person and that's it. It's like, okay, fine then. Go do what you're doing. I'm going to go and attract other people and, and do what I'm doing, okay? You do you, I'm going to do me. Because you were tired of it. You were tired of waiting for someone to grow up. You were tired of waiting for someone to get it. And what I love too is that you, it was your faith, Gemini, that brought you through. You believed that you could meet someone else and you did. Mm -hmm. Or you could uh, be in another, a better community or make better friends. And you did. You, you knew that without a shadow of a doubt. And that's why. So it's like, don't think that things are going to, because things are going good now that it's going to get messed up. It's not. Okay, someone in this collective, you're like low-key waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's not going to drop unless you take it off. It's not going to drop. It's here. Because someone is, someone is upset. They are. They're upset that you moved on and that you're happy. I feel like this person, they never thought that you would do that. Mm-hmm. Or you would come back. They felt like maybe if you separated, you would get back with them. Or you would let them come back. Someone, I feel like someone too always felt like you would be waiting for them. Or they could just have you on hold. And that didn't happen this time, Gemini. Yeah. Someone could have moved on from you as well, Gemini, and regretted their decision. But... It's like when they tried to come back or when they were thinking about coming back for you, you already moved on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because you have here, you have Princess of Cups. So you've done some inner work. I want to say even inner child work. You are learning how to love yourself. Like make sure that is your priority, right? Have your happiness, your self-confidence, your self-esteem, it's your priority now, right? Because you are not going to allow anybody to keep going on with this stupidness with you all the time. Put you through no ten of swords, lie to you, come back, cheat on you, deceive you, stab you in your back, betray you, and then try to tell you that they love you. Because you know what love is. The more you love yourself, the more you realize what love is and what love isn't. Mm -hmm. That's good. Or can I get some on Princess of Cups? Can I get some on Princess of Cups? Wow. Uh -huh. 11 of water. Someone you dead ass have water in your chart or you're dealing with a water sign now. But whoever, this is what I was getting, that energy that was so in alignment with you. Whoever you're dealing with now, Gemini, they love you. Okay? And this could have been someone who had... Um, inner child wounds of their own to deal with. This could have been someone who went through, oh, I'm right, you heard horrible heartbreak. So they went through Ten of Swords stuff too with other people, right? Uh, so it's like they they resonate with you, like attract, like they understand you on a deep level because they, they've they gone through what you've been through, right? Mm -hmm. But whoever it is, you are in alignment. You are in alignment with yourself, which is why you attracted someone who's in alignment with you. Mm -hmm. This is a very balanced relationship as well. It's very healing. So I feel like if someone used to drink a lot, this person that you're with, they may help you. They could have been um, an alcoholic as well, gone through Alcoholics Anonymous, and now they don't drink anymore and they can help you. You know, this is someone who's very supportive of you because they want the best for you because they want the best for themselves. They want to be with someone who takes care of themselves because they're learning how to take care of themselves too, right? I just heard someone say, no more cigarettes, no more cigarettes. Wow, okay. Let me, this just flipped over in the deck, but I'm going to, I'm going to 
see if it comes out again. So we're gonna get some more. Ooh, do you see that? <laughs> Can I get some more, Spirit? Can I get some more? Wow. Oh my God. I just said this. There's love here, like real, genuine, deep love. This is pure love. Mm hmm. Unconditional love. Aww. And it's so healing. And that's what I was feeling. If this is the friends, if you're in a community or you join a community or you created a community, you are attracting your soul tribe and it's just an energy of love. If you are with somebody else or you met some new friends, they genuinely care about you. Hi. Right. Like, <laughs> you any of you heard that Kendrick Lamar song? Pool full of liquor. Um, fill it up and and jump in. Jump in a pool full of liquor, right? I feel like this is like a pool full of love and just jump in. Yeah, it's so nice. Like I just want to immerse myself in this energy. Yes. Like I said, it's very healing. You're learning how to heal from any emotional baggage that you had. It's by loving yourself and, and being around people that genuinely care about you. This also, I'm hearing, speeds up the healing process. Because mm -hmm. you're not around people who are trying to beat you down or break your spirit or lying to you with these false promises. I love you, but they keep cheating on you. They keep lying to you. They keep taking from you. Right? You're seeing it now. Like, the people that you're around or the person that you're around, they're, their words match their action. Their energy matches. Um, Spirit said it matches their drive, their experience. So this is someone who's like, they want better for themselves and you see them putting in the work to be a better person. Mm -hmm. But something is very healing and it's going to help you to release any, any emotional baggage that you may have still. I feel like you both are going to be doing that. If this has to do with friendships or community, it's very healing. And it's, it's, it's something that's going to help um, everyone to release baggage, emotional baggage. That's not helping them move forward. It's you learning how to come into alignment with yourself, with your path, I heard. Let me pull some more on this. So can I get one for... Um, 11 of water. Can I get one for 11 of water? Nine of coins in reverse. Some of you, you're learning how to, um, you could have started something new. Maybe this is, you had an idea to do something and now you're actually, uh, you believe in yourself enough to actually do it. You are coming into alignment into something that's going to teach you how to bring stability and security into your life, how to create that experience. Mm-hmm. Spirit, can I get one on love? Can I get one on love, please? Four of swords. Okay, I feel like some of you could be taking time out to yourself to learn how to love yourself. Or for some of you, you know what I'm feeling like? <laughs> it's like two people that are so in love. It's just you're in your own world, right? You two just separate from everybody and you're doing your own thing, right? You're not watching anyone. You don't care about what anyone else is doing. It's just you and your person. Mm -hmm. It's like you two retreated from the world. Like someone could have gone on a honeymoon, right? Mm -hmm. So can I get one on ten of water, please? Ten of water in reverse. Thank you. And for some of you, this is just you taking time for yourself because you love yourself so much now that you, you're okay with being alone. You're okay with being uh, spending time with yourself. This is self-love is the best love. I love me and I'm okay with being by myself. Yeah. I'm okay with um, being single until I meet the right person. Yeah. Right? Because some of you, it was like, I'd rather be alone than be putting up with this mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of you, you're... You're learning how to tap into your inner strength and connect with that inner that part of you that knows that you can overcome anything and you can let go of anything. You can heal from anything. Mm -hmm. Because some of you, you still have some emotional baggage that you're carrying from a past relationship or even past hurts with people. But spirit wants you to know that you are overcoming this. You are stronger than you think you are. Mm -hmm. 
and you absolutely will heal. Continue to love yourself. For some of you, this is continue to spend time with yourself. Because I feel like some of you put up with a lot of shit from people because, or with, from someone because you felt like you needed them in your world. And you don't. Wow. Okay. Spirit, any last words of guidance and advice? Can I get some practical... You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Can I get a last message for Gemini? Can I get one last message for Gemini? Thank you. Okay, yeah, Gemini, listen to your intuition. Because remember earlier in the reading, you weren't listening to your intuition about somebody. You weren't listening to your intuition that you could move on. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you made a decision from just looking at the facts. But Spirit wants you to learn how to use both, right? Use your intuition, use your rational mind. Because a lot of you, you're getting downloads, messages. Spirit wants to come through and say something to you. This is your higher self. This is your guides, angels, ancestors. Mm-hmm. For some of you, I feel like you could be having dreams, but you don't. If you wake up and you remember the dream, you kind of just like brush it off like, what was that? That's crazy. But there's messages that are trying to come through to you. Mm -hmm. Write them down. You know, uh, think about them for a little while. I feel like spirit wants to say something to you or is trying to get your attention for something. This is also, don't be afraid to listen to yourself. Someone in this collective, you have psychic abilities, but you don't believe it. Yeah. You don't know how it is that you know things. You may be seeing visions. You may get prophetic dreams I'm hearing. So you dream about something, premonitions, and it happens. Yes. You are somebody who, like, the phone rings and you know who's calling. Yeah. Right? Even before you pick up your phone to see the name, you know who's calling. Yes, and some of this collective, you can hear people's thoughts. Yeah, you can, and it's trippy. <laughs> it's real trippy, and you think you're going crazy. You think, you know, maybe I smoked a little bit too much. No, no, you can hear people's thoughts, like legit, you're a psychic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. And spirit's like, don't deny that. Don't doubt yourself. Don't um, doubt your abilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know it's trippy. I can hear people's thoughts sometimes too. I'm just like, huh? Okay. <laughs> it is, it is. So can I get one more practical advice for the Gemini Collective, please? Thank you. Yeah, someone you're in denial about being a psychic, but you are. You are. You absolutely are. This is you coming into alignment with yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is going to help you to bring stability and security um, into your life. Yeah. This is being single, sexy, and free. Yes. Uh -huh. It's like that because you're going to intuitively know what to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your inner child. Like, didn't I say that? Someone, you've been doing some work on your inner child. Someone needs to continue to do that. Your inner child needs your attention today. Yes. Develop a strong, nurturing, supportive relationship with your inner child. This is you loving you. That's why I feel like some of you have been separated from the crowd because spirit wants you to focus on loving yourself and that's all aspects of yourself your inner child your higher self okay even your ego i know some people like to demonize their ego like you need your ego for things right? <laughs> yeah it's learning how to work with all aspects of yourself work in union right work in harmony i know when to let my ego out when i see someone trying to come for me for no reason i'll be like nah bitch i don't think so <laughs> I know who I am. I don't need you to tell me. Yeah. So spirit wants you to develop a nurturing, supportive relationship with your inner child. For some of you, this is going back and reparenting yourself because you may not have gotten that support and that nurturing um, early on in childhood. Spirit wants some of you to know that a broken bond with a parent may need healing, rekindling, or exploring. Hmm. Does someone need to go back and speak to a parent? I'm seeing somebody at a gravesite with yellow flowers. Is it yellow? Yellow roses are yellow flowers and you're speaking. Is it your grandmother or your mother? But you're speaking to someone. You're telling them about your day. You're telling them what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. It's like you want to make up for things now because you may not have had a good relationship with them in the past. Someone regrets not being able to say bye to someone before they die. 
But they, they're still here with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They're still here with you. And they love you. They love you very much. Mm -hmm. For some of you, Spirit wants you to seek a professional to help you heal from childhood trauma. Okay? This goes back to healing and letting go of emotional baggage. Yes. This even go you this can even go into loving yourself so much you realize that you need to talk to someone about some things, okay? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Allow yourself to have more fun in life, Gemini. It's not just work, okay? We are here to enjoy ourselves, okay? Yes, and abundance, abundance in all areas of your life. If you meet new friends, go out and have some fun. If you meet someone new, go out and have some, even if you're not. If you're doing this by yourself, this could be spirit teaching you how to enjoy your own company. Mm -hmm. It starts there first. Yes. All right. You know, when I met my uh, my husband, he used to think I was weird because I would legit get up and go to the movies by myself. Buy myself popcorn. I get, <laughs> right? get a little mini bottle of wine and I go watch a movie and just chill out with myself. And he used to thought that was so odd. But now he smiles when I say that. Like, yeah, that's quiche. That's what she does. <laughs> She's just spending time with herself. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, Gemini. This is you um, creating and forming and nurturing a relationship with yourself first before anyone else. Okay, honey, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.